part of assignment 8, which is our HTML practice page. Let's go back into Blackboard so we can see what the next part of the assignment is. So the next part of the assignment is complete the video tutorial, learn CSS in 12 minutes. Let's take a look at what we're going to be trying to achieve. So what you're going to end up doing is you're going to create code for this web page. Some of the code will be in HTML as you did in the first part and then some of the code will be in CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Within the CSS file you're going to be defining styles for that web page. So for example there's going to be a style defined that makes this header area blue. There's going to be a style defined that makes the footer area gray. There's going to be a style applied that defines the font that we're using, which is Arial. And there will be a style that defines the color red on these navigation links. And there will also be some styles that define the way that this page is laid out. So we do have a header, a footer. We've got a content area, which is divided into a um, navigation sidebar and then a main content area. And all of that resides inside of a container that contains this entire web page within a certain pixel width, width, which in this case is going to be 800 pixels across. So anything outside of that defined container area is going to be gray. So it doesn't matter in this case how wide the, the, the browser window gets. The web page is going to float in the middle within this 800 pixel area. So what I recommend is to just go ahead and just watch the video and get familiar with some of the terminology that's explained in the video and take a look at the code that's being entered and, and how it's being created and how the CSS code is being applied to the HTML document and then look at the final result. Then what I suggest is opening up brackets and starting to enter the code for yourself. So what I've done is I've supplied some images that contain the code that is shown in the video so that rather than stopping and starting and pausing the video in order to try to get the code, you can look at the images that I'm giving you and you can just use those images to type in the code on your own. There's an image that contains all of the CSS code that's shown in the video. And there's another image that contains all of the HTML code that is shown in the video. The lorem ipsum text, this dummy text here, you're just going to copy and paste your own. You need three short paragraphs of that text. So it doesn't have to match mine exactly, but in the end, what you're going to end up with, assuming that you enter all of your code correctly, is you're going to end up with a web page that looks almost exactly like this, except for the lorem ipsum text that you have in there will vary a little bit. So let's go into brackets and um, let's create a new file and we'll save this right away. We'll do a save as and we'll call it index.html and we're going to save that into our uh, assignment folder and into the learn CSS folder and just hit save and then go to file uh, oh, a new and then save as and then call this one style.css, go back to your assignment folder, go to your learn CSS folder and save that document inside of there. 
And then I think a good way to work would be to split this screen so you can see your HTML and your CSS at the same time. Uh, go to View and go to, you could do a vertical or a horizontal split. It just depends on what you're, you're comfortable with. I, I go with the vertical split. What I'm going to do is close my style.css. So index.html appears here. And then on this side or this pane, let me make that active by selecting in it and then choosing File, Open, go to my style.css document and open that. So right now we've got index opened in the left-hand pane and style opened in the right-hand pane. And you can use the images that I provided you to begin creating your web page. All right, so once I have all of my HTML code inside of my index.html document, and I can scroll down to see all of it, I can preview that in the browser window. I want to make sure that I save it, and then I want to preview it. And right now, the, the raw HTML file doesn't look very interesting, and that's what the CSS is for. So um, next, what I would do is I would start entering my CSS code. Again, you can use the CSS image that I provided for you to start entering that code. So if I, uh, first thing if I do is I type in body and I define a background color. and a font. And once I have some styling in here, I can go to my index.html pane, make that active, and then hit preview. And then just from that little bit of styling, all we did is that we defined our background color as, as gray, as a light gray, and then defined our font as Helvetica. We can see that there's a difference between that and the, uh, the raw HTML file. Once you've got all of your CSS code entered, then make sure you save. Make sure that this index.html pane is active and that that's also saved. Go ahead to your preview button, click that. Take a look at it in the browser window and you can see how the CSS has applied styles to my web page. And here's the raw HTML without the CSS applied. So it's quite a difference. And that completes that tutorial. So when you're all finished, you're going to have your assignment folder with the HTML practice file, the learn CSS with both the index.html and the style CSS inside. And then you're going to zip this folder and submit it to the assignment link in Blackboard.